Hey everyone, welcome to the video. We got a new flying hero coming into the game and today we're gonna check it out. So already we're on the dev build, that's how we have tons of diamonds. And the new hero is only gonna be in warships. So coming next season for now. And if you want a more in-depth sneak peek of the season, know a few other boom tubers have videos out. You can also check out this website to help you plant the tree. Uh, we'll leave a link in the description. But right at the start at 2ER, everyone's going to have access to new hero. So I think visually, it's pretty cool. The first time we ever had a flying hero. It's kind of like that jetpack guy from Boom Beach Frontlines, uh, which was out maybe a year or two ago. And he doesn't have a ton of health. I'd say it's pretty comparable to Kavan. So he's probably going to be one shot by cannons, boom cannons. I'm sure even Sniper Tower is going to do a bunch of damage. And his normal damage is also not that high. It's similar to Brick. And if you ever use Brick just for damage, you might know it's not that much. But I think his hero perk is where his kind of uniqueness shines. And here it's called Wingman, but it's basically spawning flying critters. And you get two at the start, and every few seconds he gets two more up till max of six. And these flying critters just like rotate around the hero always have him protected from each side and we'll show stats on the screen right there we don't have all the levels for the hero since it's just for warships but the ones we do know you can see over here and we can show both his speed and his hero perk um, this hit he's about the same speed as the RC so tied as one of the fastest troops and you can see at the beginning he spawns two wingmen and every few seconds he spawns two more and once he gets that six they just kind of rotate around the hero and they keep circling around him once he targets a building then only the ones at front are going to shoot whereas the ones behind just kind of do nothing and yet it's about the same range as the rc and if you're buying anything in the shop you can always support a creator if you want to support this channel you can use code stoneheart it's much appreciated upgrade wise it is not that expensive at the beginning but once it gets to a few levels, it gets pricey. I think it's about the same uh, to upgrade as Sparky is. So there you can see his max level. Again, about the same health as Kavan, damage is brick. So you probably won't be using him for those stats. But we can check some of his abilities out. So his first ability is Wingman Rush. And basically, he spawns six more flying critters that are already in the map. So the ones already around him, he kind of just shoots a bit forward and he spawns six new ones just like that. And we'll put the stats for the wingmen up here. You can see they do get stronger the more you upgrade them. And they roughly have the same stats as normal crits. And this is pretty similar to Sparky's burst ability where she just spawns a bunch of critters. This one just spawns a bunch of wingmen instead. Another cool part about it is the wingmen that are already around him, he kind of moves a bit forward so we can see that over here he basically spawns six new ones and moves the existing ones kind of ahead so i'd say it works great as distraction and see you have a bunch of those guys up ahead and him and whatever's behind him stays protected and his second ability is bombing run and it's kind of similar to Bricks for and it's a pretty long ability, cluster bomb that we can see over here. Except he kind of flies all the way over a building and drops a bunch of bombs below. And it does a fair bit of damage, so you can see using it on the ER here. Kind of targets from his far range. And he has a bit of a shield, but he flies all the way over, dropping bombs and back. But he really likes to get out there where you know defenses can be that bit of a shield don't really know the stats but I'm guessing it might be like a few hundred health and again he goes all the way across the building and back and here you got snipers with a fair bit of building damage but you can see that shield isn't that much kind of duck pops pretty quickly and again him himself doesn't have too much health either so also dies fast that's his second ability and his third ability is secret shot 
which basically spawns, here it is a single seeker, but, but it spawns two seeks at max level, and you need to take three of the hero to even have this unlocked. You can show the stats over there. And that ability sounds kind of strong, but again, it's just two seekers, so they don't have a ton of health. So you can see right here, even just a couple machine guns kill them pretty fast. And it's not a cheap ability either, so you might only spawn a few times, and you already need to do four of those to get a single boat. And this also is a good chance to show that the hero alone doesn't do a lot either. See, it does some damage to that machine gun, but not too much. And again, the wingmen are like critters, so they're good for distraction, but they die pretty quickly. And strategy-wise, I'd say hero is pretty mid. Like, the last two abilities don't find a really good use for. Like, yeah, seekers are cool, but again, you only spawn two of them, and it gets pretty expensive. So, you're using all that GB for seekers, and probably just going to die out. And for the second ability, I mean, it does a fair bit of damage, but you saw how long it takes for to actually go through the whole ability. So it might be useful for doing a bit extra damage, but but if he dies, then there's kind of no point. I think probably a first one is going to be used most, because you're thinking of the hero as like a flying sparky, just using these wingmen as distraction. And we can see it in action here, like using his ability on one side, here we use it right away, get those six uh, wingmen out. And on the other side, using like another ability like critters. And every time you pop the ability, it puts all the wingmen like a few tiles up. So as long as, you know, the RCs are protected, then I'd say it's uh, pretty useful. And once you pop the ability, they don't follow flares. So it kind of just does their own thing. And this season early on, we have so much TD that uh, I think it can make for fun hits. It's a really cheap ability too, so if you have the option of using either that or normal critters, I'd often want to use a hero ability. As far as a hero ever coming to the main island, I think what the devs are trying to see is how good the balance is right now. So if you have any feedback from this fit or especially when you play next season, maybe leave a comment your thoughts on how good the hero is, if some abilities are strong, others are weak. Like this season, I think I'm for sure going to use him since everyone has a hero, but as time goes on, if he's going to be better than others, probably not. I think the only strat he might be viable in is anything flying, so RCs or HCRC. So for sure, it's a good way to test out next season and kind of give your feedback. Also, as far as the giveaway last season, congrats to Ben CR. He guessed real close to, uh, I think, 244 Legends and was 248 last season. So reach out to me either here or Discord and we'll get you that boombox. But that's going to be it for today's video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.